How was that? It's good. Not too bad. Can you explain what you just did? What we just did? Yes, we just dragged this tarp onto this field. There's compost laid out uh, all underneath this. This uh, next season will become a growing area for whatever Lauren decides to grow. It'll be tasty. Whatever it is. And you can see just how big this tarp is. And this is a method that has been made popular by the market gardener. And see it covers the weeds, covers the grass of a very large area. What's unique about Lauren's strategy is because he covered it all. Okay. Underneath, you see that? Woo! Get a good whiff now. Is food. Compost. The difference is instead of heating it in a pile for three to six months or so, he just throws it underneath the tarp and let's it sit. So we're going to take a look at, this is the ground here. This is what once was all over this farm. It is dominated by a lot of thistles. On the thistles you can see, spiky, not fun to walk barefoot on. But, I also have And then we're going to walk over here. And you can see the end result. Beautiful greens. Field of green. Uh, he grew potatoes in these mulch, in this mulch here. Um, a lot of different fun stuff. And then we're going to walk over here. Past our campfire rocket stove inside the shelter we've been working on. More to come on that. And gonna take you down these paths that have been scythed out. They've been mowed with a scythe. And now grand reveal of what the tarp can do. It's ribbon. So what do we have here? Um, if you look around you'll see all of the perennial daisy fleabane, goldenrod, grasses, whatever, and the tarp just flattened it, cooked them all left a nice mulch behind, so now we're just gonna plant the garlic right through the mulch and then cover it in some more mulch, and then we'll have garlic next summer. How long was this covered for? Uh, say four or five weeks. There you have it, folks. And what is this technique called? Occultation. All right, that is occultation for you. This is the beautiful garlic. We're planting the garlic straight into holes six inches apart based off of a measuring stick. Measuring stick. And we you can see how loose the soil actually is here. And that's from no till meaning no tractors, no machinery, just a tarp. Okay, so now I am planting, we are planting the garden. All right, the 
last thing I want to talk to you about is why I think this process works. And I'm going to show you right here. So here's the idea. A forest grows on a fallen forest. So as someone who spent a lot of time in the woods observing uh, natural patterns and someone who studied soil science at a university level, this is my conclusion to why occultation is so effective. Basically, you see here the trees fall and underneath the trees is the ground allowing little sunlight in. Soil is developing. Underneath, underneath the soil, a forest lies this mycelial network, which is a web of life that the fruit of which is a mushroom. And out in farms, this mycelial network is very hard to find often in conventional farms because it's sprayed with nitrogen and pesticides and fertilizers. And also, there's little tree life, little organic matter getting into the soil. A lot of farms uh, cut back their, their crop every year, and as a result, the organic matter decays. Whereas with organic farming, sustainable farming, permaculture, all these things, the goal is to build the soil. So there's two types of professions in the world heard this from a lecture once, can't quote who it is, but there's farming and mining. Farming is you're building soil, you're building life, you're regenerating. Mining is you're taking up. Fossil fuels, gold, um, corn and soy to create feed for animals, uh, conventional farming, these are all mining practices. You're taking and taking and taking without giving back. If we are to get out of this situation, we need to go beyond sustainable. If we are going to have a future for our children and our grandchildren, we need to, we need to regenerate earth. We need organic matter. We need life. So the only way to do that is to be building the soil. And occultation, although it's not perfect, it uses petroleum byproduct, because a tarp or a petroleum product, um, it's a step in the right direction, I believe. Without using glyphosate or other chemical fertilized uh, pesticides, you can, you can effectively suppress weeds, build organic life, and create a life for microorganisms, fungi. So there you have it. Occultation based on the idea of a forest growing on a fallen forest.